Right, so in today's video, we're back on the grass verge and we're gonna be doing a little bit of work on this lawn today because it has been neglected a little bit over the past month or so. You can see either side, you've got a lot of long grass, we've got a lot of weeds knocking about, which you definitely need to deal with. It just looks an absolute mess. And the lawn itself is doing okay, but there's still some imperfections throughout. So you can see now, if we just get right up close to the lawn, you've got the odd weed knocking about. We've got a few more weeds over here. A little bit of weed grass knocking about in the middle. There's a little bit of everything and it doesn't look perfect, not by any stretch. Those who were subscribed last year and saw sort of the transformation of this lawn will know that it was previously sort of like a fescue lawn. We killed that off. We reseeded it as just a pure ryegrass lawn. And then as I've learned a little bit more about grass species, earlier this year I incorporated a little bit more fescue into the mix just so it would help to sort of knit together that lawn a little bit better but because it's been neglected and because there's all these weeds it's in a little bit of a state at the moment but really that doesn't matter a whole deal you'll often see lawns on YouTube that look absolutely amazing and my back lawns at the moment look incredible however this is more of a realistic view as to what a lot of UK lawns look like especially if someone's only coming out maybe once every two weeks to cut the lawn it can end up like this and if you leave it too long it can end up looking even worse so in today's video what we are going to do is first and foremost is get rid of all this long grass on that side and also tackle a little bit of long grass on this side as well because it does look a little bit unsightly and then what else we're going to do is we're going to be getting on this lawn with a bit of we're not going to kill every single weed off but it's going to go a long way as to killing most of them off and improving this lawn so the tool we're going to be using then to actually combat all this long grass is this it's the greenworks strimmer they do a few uh, but this isn't like the base model it's the one that has a little bit more punch to it it's got two sort of uh, string lines on the end and it's 40 volts so it's pretty powerful so what i'm going to do i'm going to crack on i might start up against the road side i think to begin with let's get rid of a lot of this it's going to look a mess but we'll see how we get on <clears throat> there we go nice new uh, strimmer rolling down the hill I think it's safe to say that it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty powerful. The only thing it struggled with was uh, was these, but I think because the stems are so thick, uh, yeah, found that pretty tough. Now I'm not going to clean it up yet. I've got a leaf blower. What I'm going to do is tackle the side near the bushes first. Now I'm really not that bothered about getting this side really pristine and nice. I just want to tidy it up ever so slightly. There we go, it's uh, <laughs> really, really powerful. Comparing this to the 18 volt Bosch that I've got is uh, it's just a different level. And there's about half the battery left and this is on the four and battery, the one I use on the lawnmower as well. So yeah, not too bad. Let's get the leaf blower out. Let's clear a lot of the debris and then we can think about using the weed killer. So with a product like Weed On, that's obviously designed to kill weeds and not your lawn, uh, the one thing you really need to make sure you do is not to cut your grass before you apply the product because uh, how the product works is the fact that it sort of attaches itself to the plant. And if you cut your grass really short or you've, you've got to bid you scalp it, then you're taking off a lot of that leafy part of the weed and then it's either not really going to work or you know certainly not be as effective anyway so that lawn at the front hasn't been cut for around that two days now so the and it's quite long anyway so the leaves of the weeds are quite big so i'm going to kill every single weed known to humanity there are some on the box that tells you kills like dandelions daisies white clover etc etc so the vast majority of them it isn't going to kill power so when you get weed grasses that is something you have to take out and remove by hand but on that lawn at the front i'm not bothered if there's a little bit of weed grass i can live with that now on the instructions 
it does say that you need to apply 15 millilitres for every 10 metres squared, which is obviously quite easy to work out for different lawns, but that lawn at the front, nice and simple, it's 30 square metres. So we're going to get on with around about 45 millilitres of the product. It says on the bottle here that you need to mix 15 millilitres of the product with a litre of water. However, if that was the case for me, it'd mean that I need to put three litres inside this spray and apply it then to the lawn. However, I'm not going to do that because getting across that entire lawn takes me roughly one and a half minutes. This dispenser's about 500 millilitres per 30 seconds. So if I put 45 mils in with one and a half litres into this sprayer, yes, there's less water and it'll be a higher concentration of the product, but you also need to detach the water elements of your spraying process because it's not about necessarily how much water you put in. It is to an extent, but it's about water being a carrier for that product so as long as you do one pass across that lawn and get the entire product down it's going to be fine if we do a slightly weaker application what we can do is get the weed on in the spray bottle to actually tackle some more of those sort of stubborn weeds in the next couple of weeks so i'm going to put about a liter of water into this to begin with could use measurements on the side but do it the way this way is fine as well it doesn't have to be mega, mega precise. Like no one's gonna die if you're a few millilitres off. Right. This is a good old shake. I've not used this for 12 months, so don't think it goes out of date, to be honest. Probably does to an extent, but not massively. Now it's got some measurements on the side. It goes, it goes up in five millimetre increments until you get to 30 mil, and then it's 10 mil. So in this need just over the 40 mil mark. You'll notice as well, I've got gloves on because I don't fancy um, getting this product over my hands. And from what I can remember, it proper whiffs this stuff. It's proper potent. There we go. That's between the 40 and the 50 mark. Whoa, it's like terps. I remember it being like terps, and it is. It's like terps. I'll rinse this out in a second. And then I'm gonna put one, uh, one more batch of 500 mils into the spray. I'm putting that lid back on before I get like some sort of disease. Ah, whiffing, whiffing Jesus. There we go, one and a half litres into the sprayer. Now you shouldn't really be using this, um, or applying this, should I say, when it's windy, but we've had nothing but wind here for the past few weeks. Uh, this has been the calmest day we've had so far, and I'm just hoping because, I mean, it's not that windy, it's only a bit breezy. I'm hoping because I'm spraying quite low, that the bushes provide a little bit of protection for the spray. So I'm only gonna go along in one pass to cover the entire lawn, and then yeah, job will be a good one. Right, I wasn't planning on actually filming today, I've just come out with the lawn mowing out to give the lawn a quick cut, um, but the weed all has really started to kick in. Now, it's been roughly a week and a half since we put the application of weed all down. I'll just bring it in closer so you can see what sort of effect it's having so far. So you can see a lot of these broad leaved weeds are really, oh, they're tin, a bit red, must be part of the dying process. And also there's the, this weird weed as well. So it kind of looks like grass, but it wasn't grass. It was this like weird sort of green plant that was sticking up through the lawn and all the way along, you can see these darker patches here and around here, which were where this like strange sort of plant was. And even things like this as well, have proper started to wilt too. You can see how the leaves just really start to die back. But what you will start to notice is all these sort of lighter patches which are starting to grow up now. Uh, and this is a lot of weed grass that's knocking about. And that's the one thing about weed all, is that's not actually gonna kill any of the weed grasses. So what I'm gonna do is give this a cut. I'll wait till the weekend. And I think removing some of this weed grass might be the next job on the list. So thanks for watching today's video. Not really much to be honest, just a bit of an update as to how this lawn's looking and the improvements that we are doing to it. Not every single lawn is gonna be perfect. And if you neglect your lawn for a little bit, it can look in a bit of a state like this one does. However, in the next two weeks, I believe this lawn is gonna be looking completely different to how it is now. Because once we've dealt with a lot of the weed grasses, we're gonna get on, give this lawn a feed and you know, not long after that, it's really going to start to pop. So thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to follow along with any more of my lawn tip videos or any garden renovation stuff, then consider subscribing. The Instagram is in the description below too. Finally, thanks for watching.